skateboarding is light. And it gives you family. I'm Pauline Branham. I'm from Pomona, California, but I would say Venice is my home. I've spent every weekend, almost, since I was a kid here. And on top of that, I love skateboarding. Tell me, when, how did you start to skate? Um, I started skating when I was 11. My brother started skating, and next thing you know, I was at the skate park all the time, and it was still my dad's board. And pretty much my brother and I just skate since then. He's um, my inspiration for skateboarding, actually. I wouldn't be doing it without him. And really when I got into skateboarding, I never thought too much about it. It kind of just led to where it is today. Um, I think I skated my first comp when I was 11. And then after that, I was moving around a lot because that kind of opened me up to a lot of opportunity. All right, Paulie, well, we put it together right now. I was end up doing World Cup skateboarding, but then my mom wanted to spend a lot of t more time out this way because actually, like, even though I said I grew up in Pomona, I was actually moving around a lot at the time. So with that being said, staying in hotels and stuff wasn't really safe, so my mom kind of wanted to get us out a lot. So we wanted to be at the hotel, you know, playing in the garbage and shit. <laughs> we came out here, we had busted out here um, on weekends. And it would take like two hours, but it's worth it. Come out here, maybe end back up in downtown LA, stay in a Denny's, come back out here for the next day, come skate all day. And that just kind of like became like a routine. And I started meeting a whole bunch of people here along with my brother. And it just kind of became family. Um, meeting the people that are also part of VSA, Victor Blue, um, quite a few other people, Tuma. Shout out to them. They're, they're inspirations to me too. Honestly, I, I love how the energy that they give, you know. Uh, Mr. Lamont, Maddie, his son, great people. Um, and with that being said, there's a lot of people too like around the skate park and they inspire me too. If I didn't say your name, like, I love you. And without the people like Dave Duncan, Eddie Radigi, Jim Gray to like, give me some pointers and be some mentors in my life, I wouldn't be here. Now, I know we start, I talked about all that and I kind of forgot to talk about like the Venice skateboarding circuit here. You know, we had a few, we had Ladies Day, Heidi Lemon, Cindy Whitehead, them setting up, giving girls opportunities to show their talent here at the beach. And that is great too. And over those years, we also kind of like got to build up some endurance with the women here. So we kind of got to see a lot more women over the years. And also now, even more comforting now as an adult woman, I see it as more of a safe space for women too with uh, Girl Swirl, Concrete Queens, um, and all the girls that are here to honestly push each other like for the better. When you skate, you have this feeling that you're inspiring people? Or... I feel, you know, not I feel what I want to do in skateboarding is I want to inspire people to inspire. I want people to feel that like necessarily like Whenever they step in the room, everybody has their own light and everyone should feel that they should combine that together so that we can create bigger light. Initially. I don't know how I could necessarily explain that, but I want to be a person that doesn't necessarily, I don't want to be the top. I don't want to be that inspiration. I don't want to be that nail in the board. I want people to want to aspire to be better than me. And I feel like that's the biggest takeaway in skateboarding is like when you're doing stuff, it shouldn't be because someone else is doing it, it should be because you want to do it. And that's the biggest thing that I feel creates creativity and like allows people to be unique in themselves, just like Venice. Do you have like the inspiration from like the, the dark down, the Z boys, all these guys like on your skateboard, when you tell me about them. Daggers for life. Okay, well, like, you already know, Daggers for life. Dave Duncan, um, he is the, probably the biggest inspiration to me in skateboarding, other than my brother. Um, 
I was 12 years old. I was kind of in a point where I was, I'm a girl, you know, skateboarding, I'm 12, 13, going on 13. Guys don't really like me. They're kind of like, oh, you're masculine, you're a boy. And I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know about skateboarding. And they just happened to be like, I don't know, my mom got a hold of them, Jim and Dave ended up taking me out to um, Claremont, San Diego. And we went and skated um, one of the first exposure competitions. And I went ahead and took some top places in the amateur division. And on the way out there, actually, that I had, they had kind of given me a nickname. So they were like, that's why I kind of said my favorite color. Yeah, you guys heard it. But my favorite color is orange. My favorite dinosaur is a velociraptor. Those are the questions they pretty much asked me. Those are my answers. So then from that time on, I was the orange velociraptor. Every time Dave was on a mic, he's like, got the orange velociraptor, OK? And it just like was great. And then when I turned 16, I was like skateboarding a lot more seriously. So. I kind of got into it where like I was like I was seeing all these people you know you got Dave Duncan type of skateboarding you got this type of skateboarding you got your sponsors and stuff and it just like inspired me to like skateboard for myself because I'm pulling you know I went pro I got my board my board ended up being a velociraptor it was orange that board came out when I was 16. Did the um, there was a few. Um, the sponsor at that time was called Feisty Crew, and they actually did a lot more snowboard stuff. They're actually more based out of um, like northern, like kind of more like Scandinavia, like area northern Europe. So it was a little more of that action. But I think there was quite a few. I got. I mean, it was a while ago. I think I made a little bit of percentage. It was nice. Skateboarding took you far. Huh? <laughs> like yeah, it was. Well, you know, it's skateboarding. You know, it's good. It was good. You know, it was. It was experience, because honestly, it still work. You know, it's, skateboarding is still work when you have sponsors. That's kind of where I, I did kind of after that, that's what I was going to get to, is I, um, I tore my ACL, like partially, so I was kind of out for a little bit. And I kind of, at that point, was kind of over like the competition circuit. So I kind of stepped away from the sponsorship for a while. Because in that time, I was kind of more pushing myself to do content or like post stuff that wasn't necessarily me, or I felt like I connected to. So that, at that time, I like separated myself, and then I started spending more time here. How was that time like when you got injured? Like, because it looks like you were in the top of the game and then you got injured. Yeah, so I was pretty much at home. You know, going to school was hard. I like pretty much walked to school every day too if I were going to school. So it kind of like took me out of school for a little bit. Um, but it was, you know, it was good. I kind of like found myself too then. Cause I started, I started taking school a lot more seriously. Cause I was out of school for like, three months straight. Like I didn't spend a lot of time at school before. I was going to, my mom was taking me out of school to go skate a lot. Um, but I think after those three months, I went and seen my counselor and it was my, it was my sophomore year. And I wanted to have this talk with him too. Cause I'm like, I want to graduate. Cause out of my family, my dad hasn't graduated. My brother hasn't graduated. You know, I want to, you know, I want to do something, you know, I want to, you know, build life. So I was like, you know, that's the first step in doing that. So I went back, I talked to my counselor. There was no way in regular high school I was going to get these credits. So I went ahead and went to the continuation school, hurried that up, and actually got to learn a lot. I started taking a lot more art classes, being more serious. I took a lot of agricultural science classes, too. So I'm very into that, you know. Not as far as my eating is not the best, but, you know, you want to grow some plants, I'll tell you how to do it. But um, it really, like, made me really grow up in a lot of ways. Like, I was kind of already grown up in a lot of ways, more on like the street side, but it made me grow up more like book wise, you know, made me take things seriously, like be like, I, if I were to really do stuff in my life, I need to do this. So I took it serious, I went to school, I healed up, I started skating again. And that's when I started doing Instagram actually. So <laughs> it was cool because I started, I started making clips of me skating, just fucking around. I was just coming back, y'all. I've been hurt for like a year. So I think at first a lot of people are like, you don't skate like you used to. Why are you posting this shit? And I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm having fun. And you know what? It's crazy because, like, my message for all the girls is like, fuck what everybody else has to say. If you like it, you like it. You know? So, and it got to a point where I just started posting these clips and, like, they're just being my friends or I was just skating with my brother. And I was just having fun. You know, I relearned how to love skateboarding again and, like, be part of the community. So yeah, injuries can change you a lot. They can really teach you about yourself, you know, what you were willing to put yourself through to get back on track or back to where you want to be necessarily. How 
how was your childhood? Like, did you grow up with your mom and daddy? How was it? Uh, yeah, I have my mom and dad. They're great, they're fun. He kind of grew up like surfing a little bit when he was younger and stuff. He doesn't know more, my uncle does that. But my mom, she's a skateboarding connoisseur. Like, she is in love with skateboarding. She kind of like grew up in the scene, did the whole little punk rock scene, ended up in um, San Francisco doing the whole Hate hey Ashbury and the, the Grateful Dead. So I would give the image there of what my mom would be like. You know, she she's living life. Julie, Julie, Julie Branham. <laughs> she honestly, too, has like pushed me a lot in skateboarding. She's, when she comes to the park, she talks to everybody. She's like the skate park coach, okay? She get down there and she'll be yelling, shoulders, shoulders. You can even ask Hayden down there. He already knows. But people are gonna laugh at that, oh my God. But yeah, she comes to the park and she loves to coach everybody. She really just wants to see everybody freaking shred it up because she's just that person in the park, you know? She's just a hype woman. To me, maybe not, but to everybody else, yeah, she, she's the best vibes. I love her. And um, her growing up in skateboarding, her skateboarding situation is a little different. She kind of like roller skated when she was younger and she kind of grew up in Fullerton, like the whole Sadlands skateboard scene. So she knew some people that I kind of know now currently when she was younger. And I feel like that also kind of changed a lot of like the atmosphere for myself in skateboarding too, just kind of having those little ties to like the core of skateboarding. Let's go pretty much a true. Who is following you now? Who am I? I just, you know what, I want to, I just want to be a good person. That's who I, I, I'm not gonna say I'm a good person, but that's what I want to be. And, but who I am initially is I'm a creative person. I'm down to help all my friends. So you need help. I don't got money, but I got two hands. So I'm down for anything, you know, you don't gotta pay me. But I, I honestly just want to, who am I today? That's a real good question, you know? Who am I today? Today, you know what, I'm Pauline Branham. I'm a skater, I got a brother, I got family, I'm a girlfriend, I'm an artist, I'm a singer, I'm an actor, I'm a model, I'm an influencer. It's just energy, you know, I feel like it's just energy. And at any given moment, it's, it changes. So today, I'm here with you guys.